Okay, all right. Hi, everyone. Good evening. How are you all? All of you good? Great. Give me a thumbs up. Everyone's doing great. Superb. Very cool. All right. So is everyone ready for the class? Yeah. All right. So, okay, a lot of you are joining in. So, till you all join in, I hope everybody is ready with all the materials that we need for the class today. Have you all checked the list? Yes, you have everything that we had mentioned in the list. Great, great. All right. So, tell me, how many of you like to have potato chips? Does mama let you have potato chips? Yes. <coughs> All right. Okay, a lot of potato chips lovers here. Great, great. And tell me, how many of you love to have French fries? Tell me, it's a secret. Secret between you and me. Okay. How many of you love to have French fries and you can have it daily? I love to eat French fries. I can have French fries all the time. Yeah. Okay. Do you know with what vegetable... Is French fries made? Which vegetable is used to make French fries? Tell me quickly. Who's gonna tell me? Who has seen Mama making French fries at home? Which vegetable does Mama cut when she's making French fries? Okay, okay, all right. Everybody is giving me the right answer. Okay, are you all talking about this vegetable? Yes. What vegetable is this? This is a potato. Mr. Potato helps us. Gives us what? French fries and potato chips. And pakoras. Yes, all the yummy, yummy things. Right? So, and Mr. Potato is going to help us do some nice painting today. Correct? So, we will be using the potato to make our painting. Does everybody have the potato with them? Show it to me on the screen quickly. Everybody show me the potatoes that you have. All right, that's so cool. Everybody's got a cute little potato with them. All right, that's really nice. So good to see everybody ready with all the painting stuff. Very good, very good. Good going everybody. I'm so happy to see everybody excited and so ready for the class. All right. So now I guess a lot of your friends have joined, right? So should I tell you what all we need for the class so that if you have missed out on something, you can go rush and get it quickly. Yes. So for the class today, I want you to have potato. Okay. Then I want you to have a knife from mama's kitchen. But don't use the knife when you are alone. Okay, always have some elder with you when you're using the knife so that you don't hurt yourself. All right. And then we need some paints. Okay. I hope you all have all your paints ready. Yes. I will show you what all you need. And we will need paint brushes. And we need a paper on which we will paint. All right. So is everybody ready with the material? Okay, don't eat your potatoes right now. Okay, because we need to paint them. We will use them to paint. Okay, so 
is everybody ready should we move on to painting now give me a thumbs up all are ready for the class great great so good to see so many thumbs up coming up all right so now let me quickly take you to my workstation yes all right i hope everybody can see my paper yes okay so now this is our paper and let me tell you what all we need once again we need our paper we need potato okay we need a knife then we need paints which all colors orange yellow green brown you can keep black also okay and we need our paint brush and water okay is everybody ready okay so now i want everybody's mama to be here to help the children cut the potato in half okay i'll show you how to cut okay do not cut it unless you see so if this is your potato everybody take the potato okay don't hold it like this vertically we want it in a sleeping position okay have the potato in sleeping position not in standing position put your potato in sleeping position okay and now take your knife take the knife and cut the potato in half from the center okay see i'm cutting the potato in half from the center so i get two halves of the potato okay i want everybody to cut their potatoes like this to get two circles okay everybody cut your potato in half so that you get two circles okay i hope everybody is parents are around somebody elder is around to help them cut it okay don't cut it alone you can enjoy yourself knife is sharp and should not be used when you are alone okay take mama's help to cut the potato and rest of the painting we will do on our own okay so you just have to put the potato in sleeping position not in standing in sleeping position okay and then you take your knife and cut the potato in half horizontally okay once the potato is like this kept horizontally just take your knife and cut it like this to get two circles okay all right if you cut it like this vertically you will get a oval and that to a small one we want a big circle and that's why we are cutting it like this in sleeping position okay has everybody cut the potatoes okay give me a thumbs up if your potato is cut in half and you've got two big circles okay all right lot of you are showing me great great good going so all set everybody is set for the painting very good so now i want you to take your paint brush okay just take your paint brush okay 
I am putting one of the potatoes on side. Okay, and we will be using our first half now. Okay, so for the first half, the paint that we need is yellow. Okay, so everybody take yellow color and your paint brush. Just dip your paint brush in water. Wipe it on the side of your bowl. All right. And now, dip your paint brush in yellow paint. See, I have taken yellow color paint in my brush. All right. Now I'm taking one half of my potato. Okay, has everybody taken the paint in their brush? Now take one half of your potato. Okay, and now we will color the potato with yellow color using our brush. Okay, put yellow color on the whole potato. On the full half of the potato, put your yellow color nicely everywhere. Okay, like this you all have to paint your potato with yellow using a brush. Yeah, you can use any color, any color. Okay, you can use acrylic color, you can use poster color, watercolor, whatever color, tube color that you have. You can use any color. Just take that color in a brush. Okay, and then spread it evenly on the inner surface of the potato. On the cut side. Okay, like this, just... Apply paint everywhere on your potato. Okay. Now what do we have to do? Just turn around your potato. The skin should be visible on the top side. Okay. Just turn around your potato so that the skin is seen on the top side. Okay. Now where are we going to make the print? on one side of our paper okay so come on this side on the left side of your paper towards the lower side of your sheet and now just turn around your potato and put it here and press it well very hard press the potato from all the sides from all the sides Press it nicely. Okay, have you all done it? Have you all pressed the potato nicely? Put lot of pressure. Yeah, did you all have lunch today? Okay, so you have lot of strength. All right, so press it nicely. And then slowly lift your potato. Lift your potato. To get a circle. Okay. Now if you see some white portion. Like I can see some white portion here. Just take your brush. Take the same yellow color. And paint in the white portion. To cover it up. Okay. So like this we have made the. Circle using our potato. Done? All right. Now let us take our potato one more time. Again take yellow color in your brush. Again, take yellow color in your brush. And now, 
apply yellow color everywhere again on the same surface where you had applied yellow previously okay everywhere put yellow nicely using your brush put it nicely okay and now again we will turn it around just turn it around and the next impression will be on this side on the right side of your paper on the lower side just turn around your potato just turn around your potato and put it here okay and now press it well press it very very well from all the sides press it nicely yes as everybody press it nicely now slowly lift up your potato hold your paper with one hand and lift your potato to get a perfect circle all right has everybody got these two circles okay is anybody still painting uh, is anybody still taking the impression all right we're just waiting for you to finish just let me know once everybody is done all right okay seems everybody has done by now now what are we going to do we need another small circle of potato okay so now we will be taking another potato okay now put it vertically earlier we had put it in sleeping position because we wanted a big circle now we will put it in standing position okay we are putting it in standing position and we will cut from the top we want a small circle so we will cut from the top to get a small circle so just move your knife like this and you will get a small circle okay see i have cut my i kept my potato vertically in standing position and from the top only i have cut it like this to get a small circle okay see this was my big circle and this one is a small circle so if you cut your potato from the top you will get a small circle okay i hope mamas are helping to cut you uh, cut your potatoes all right so now has everybody's potato been cut yeah okay so now take the small piece of potato that you have take your smaller circle and again take yellow color the same yellow color in your brush now we will again apply yellow color on the inner surface of the potato on the white portion of the potato okay see apply it well with your brush done has everybody applied the yellow color on their small size potato great okay i'm waiting for everybody to apply the color and then we will take the print
Has everybody cut the potato? Yes, everybody has cut. Okay. So now we are just taking the color in our brush and applying it on the inner surface of the potato. Like this. Okay, just apply yellow color nicely. Done. Now just turn it around so that the skin of the potato is on top. Okay, just turn it around so that the skin of the potato is on top. And now we will place, just look here where to place the potato, the smaller one. We will put it on the head of this one. On the small, on the big size potato. See like this. Okay, I have placed it here. And now press it really nice. Nicely. Okay, press it from all the sides so that your color comes on the paper from every side. Now just hold your paper. And lift your potato slowly. And see we have got a nice circle with our small potato as well. Right? Yes. Now we will be making the same thing on this side as well. So again take your small potato, the small circle. Okay, and now apply the paint on this side, on the same side of the smaller circle. Why are we applying paint again and again? Because when you take one impression, the paint from any of the corner of the potato, any side of the potato may be reduced. So if you take the impression again without applying paint, you will not get a complete circle. That's why we are applying the paint again so that we get a nice circle. Okay, at times the paint gets dried on the surface. And that's why we are not able to get a complete nice circle. And so we should apply paint again. Okay, has everybody applied the paint? Now turn around your potato and put it here on the top of your big circle. The top side should be the skin of the potato. And now press it well. Press the small potato well from all the sides. Okay. Press it well from all the sides. And then slowly lift your potato and you will get a nice circle. Okay. I hope everybody is able to do this. And you all have taken the impression of these four circles using the potato. All right, everyone take it, uh, do it nicely. Okay, do it nicely. And let me know once you are done. Okay, and then you have to let this dry. Okay, you have to let the yellow color dry. If you all have taken the impression by now and then you can take your potato and a rough cloth and wipe the surface of your potato. Wipe it because we are going to use another color here. Okay. So wipe both the potatoes nicely.
ओके नाउ एवरीबॉडी टेक ऑरेंज कलर एवरीवन टेक ऑरेंज कलर वी आर नाउ गोइंग टू मेक द सन ओके Do you know what have we made with this yellow color? Who's gonna tell me? What have we made with the yellow color? What is this? We are going to make chicks. Okay, yellow color chicks with this. Okay, so once they are dry, we will make their eyes and mouth and the legs. Okay, they will look really cute. so till they are drying let us take an impression for the sun so take your small potato the small size circle which you used here to make the head okay which you used here take that potato the smaller potato and then take orange color in your brush see i have taken orange color now Okay now apply orange color nicely on this surface apply it well with a brush Okay your paint should be wet it should not get dry has everybody applied orange color on the potato okay have you all applied great now just turn around your potato okay turn it around and this is the sky so we will be putting our potato here on the upper side of your paper just put your potato here on the top should be the potato skin and down should be your paint now press this nicely from all the sides press it well and now slowly hold your paper and lift up the potato like this we will get the impression of our sun okay i hope everybody is take making the sun using the potato by now what did we do we took the small potato the small circle that we had cut then we took orange color in our brush we applied orange nicely on the potato okay after that just turn around your potato put it on the top side of your sheet put it here press it nicely then once you have pressed it well just hold your paper and lift it up to get a nice circle for your sun this is the sun of our painting okay all right now just check if your yellow color is dry okay just check if your yellow is dry put your hand over this and check your hand i am not getting yellow color on my hand so mine is dry is everybody's yellow color dry by now okay so now you can take your red sketch pen okay if you don't have a sketch pen you can use a red pen or you can take red color paint in your thin brush okay you can use a very very thin brush like this and take red color paint here otherwise you can use a red sketch pen or a red color pen whatever you have ready near you 
you can use that okay and what are we going to do with this i hope everybody is ready with the red color pen or sketch pen or paint now since this is the chick and this is the head of our chick on this side we will make a triangle make a triangle a small triangle to make the beak all right now here also we will make a small triangle with red color and color it inside to make the beak okay you can do this with your red sketch pen or your red pen or you can take paint in your thin brush and paint okay whichever way you feel it is nice to do you can do that okay has everybody made it you just have to make a triangle on the head of the chick just make a triangle on the side to make the beak of the bird okay now again we are going to use red color only and now from the body we will bring down two straight lines <coughs> we will bring down two straight lines from here also from the big circle we will bring down two straight lines you can use the same black sketch a uh, red sketch pen or red pen okay has everybody made these two lines from the big circle okay now what are we going to do at the base of the circle make a inverted v like this okay just make a slanting line on one side okay and slanting line on another side okay i'm showing again this is the line that you had drawn now on the lower side just make a slanting line like this and other side also make a slanting line like this okay again on this line that you have drawn one side we will draw a slanting line and other side also we will draw a slanting line done great i hope everybody everybody is able to do that super now i want you to take your black pen or a black sketch pen and if you don't have any of these you can take your thin brush and black paint okay so i have taken very little black paint on my brush okay and now what are we going to do with this just make a small dot here to make the eye just make a very small dot here on the face to make the eyes
ओके कुड ऑल ऑफ यू मेक द आई यू कैन यूज योर ब्लैक मार्कर ब्लैक स्केच पेन ब्लैक पेन वॉट एवर यू हैव टू मेक द स्मॉल डॉट फॉर द ब्लैक आई ओके इफ यू डोंट हैव एनी ऑफ दैट यू कैन यूज योर स्मॉलेस्ट ब्रश योर थिनेस्ट ब्रश विथ ब्लैक पेंट यू कैन मेक द आई ओके नाउ I want you to take your brown color. Okay, take brown color in your thin brush. Okay, so I am taking brown color in my thin brush. Okay. Has everybody taken the brown color in the thin brush? Great. Now we are going to make a tree. So with brown color, we will be making the trunk of the tree. So just make a line on one side of your sheet. Make a line like this. and just next to this make another line okay has everybody drawn these two lines now you have to just fill inside with brown color so use your thin brush to paint inside the two lines like this we will paint inside our two lines okay has everybody finished painting the trunk on one side all right so now let us make a another tree here on the other side of our paper okay so from one of the sides just bring up a small line a straight line with brown color okay and make another line just next to this like this okay have you all made the two lines Now just use your paint brush to fill with brown color inside the two lines. Okay, just fill inside the two lines with brown color. Okay, so like that you have to make the trunk of the tree. you can use black brown sketch pen also to make this if you don't wish to use your paints okay you can use brown sketch pen also to make the trunk of the tree if you do not wish to make using paints okay so has everybody made the trunk i am waiting for everyone to finish it oh you all are doing it beautifully 
yes i can see a lot of you doing it and a lot of you showing it to me it's so pretty yeah your cheeks are looking so very cute yeah very nicely done very neat work good job everybody very good see we can make so many things using a potato right yeah so now we will be making our tree has everybody finished painting the trunk all right so for the next step i want you to take your small circle the small circle that we had cut <coughs> okay the small circle that we had cut take that if your paint is still wet you can wipe it using your rough cloth wipe it using your rough cloth okay and now which color will we take we want to make the tree so what is the color of tree it is green color right so we will be taking green color paint so take green color paint in your brush all right see i'm taking my small potato the small circle potato and green color in my brush and applying it everywhere on my potato apply the green color nicely okay has everybody applied the green color now turn around your potato we are going to make our tree on this side first okay so turn around your potato and put your potato towards this side of your trunk towards the left side see i have kept it a little this side okay so just put it there <coughs> just put it there and press it well press it well from all the sides press it nicely now hold your sheet and lift your potato slowly and you will get a nice green color circle yeah has everybody got a nice green circle oh nice beautiful now again we are going to make lot of green circles so once you are done making one circle again take your brush apply green color on the potato okay now turn it around and we are going to place this just next to this like this one okay i have placed it just next to my previous green circle now press it well press it nicely and slowly lift up your potato and see we have got two pretty green circles okay again we are applying green color on this okay now turn it around and put it on the top between the two circles between the two green circles we will again put our potato in the between 
in the center of the two circles and press it press it nicely from all the sides and lift it slowly to get a third circle your third circle with green if there is some white spot you can fill it up with your brush okay so we have made our tree okay now again let us apply green color on the same potato we are applying green color now turn it around and we are going to make the same tree that side also okay so turn it around and place it towards the left side of your trunk like this okay put it on the left side of the trunk where i have put and now press it nicely from all the sides then lift it slowly to get a nice circle all right now again we will apply green now you all know how to make a tree right we just made one this side so in the same way we will be making another tree that side so just lift your potato apply green color one more time turn it around and put it here okay see i have put it here now press it nicely press it well and slowly lift it up to get a nice circle with green okay now again take your potato apply green paint this is the last time that we are applying the green paint okay turn it around and place it between the two circles so i have placed it here now press it well and lift it up to get a nice green circle okay now you can just fill up any white space with your paint brush like this okay has everybody made the tree or are you all still taking the impression with the potato okay so we have finished making all our impressions with the potato okay now we will be only using our paint brush to give the final touch to our painting okay so just let me know once everybody has finished making the trees so that we can move ahead okay have you all finished great so now we are going to make grass we will be making grass here on the lower side of our paper okay so just take green color in your brush in a thin brush or a medium brush take green color okay see i have taken green color in my brush okay everybody take green color yeah have you all taken okay so now from the bottom put your brush here and slowly bring it up and leave it 
put it here bring it up and leave it put it here bring it up leave it like that you have to make the grass okay you have to make it all around the lower side of your paper along the whole line like this you have to make the grass see again just put your brush here take it up and leave it put your brush here take it up and leave it like that you have to make the grass like this once you know how to do you will be able to do it fast okay see just put your brush here press it take it up leave it put it here press it take it up leave it and like that you have to make grass all along the lower line of your sheet come to the till the other side of your paper so like this you have to make grass all around your paper if you want you can also make grass just below your tree like this in the same way you can show grass below your tree also okay here also you can show okay i hope everybody is able to make the grass using the paint brush all right all right I hope everybody has made the grass by now. All right, that's nice. So now coming to the last portion of our painting, we will be just making the sun rays. So I want you to take your thin brush, your thinnest brush. Okay, and take yellow color in that brush. In your thinnest brush. See I'm taking yellow color in my thinnest brush. and everybody knows how to make the sun rays right just bring out rays from the sun like this a big line a small line a big line a small line and like that you have to make lines all around your sun Okay you can also use your yellow sketch pen to make the rays to make the sun rays if you don't wish to use your yellow paint and brush you can use yellow sketch pen or yellow marker to make the sun rays Okay so this with this we come to the end of our painting isn't it looking so cute Yeah see we made such a pretty painting using only potatoes correct yes all right so could everybody make this was it easy for all of you to draw to paint this paint with potatoes all right that's really nice 
so good to see that everybody is saying yes and giving me a thumbs up very good very good okay so i guess everybody has finished the painting by now all right that's really nice okay so quickly put up the paintings on the screen so that i can see okay wow such lovely paintings you all have made it is looking so cute yeah i am so happy to see everybody's painting and you all have used your potato so well yeah such nice circles your chicks are looking so cute your trees have come out so well so happy to see all of you painting so well with the potatoes all right good job everybody very good work okay so was it new for everybody to make a painting using a potato could you think of it before this yeah see just cutting the potato in half helps you make a circle so what are the other things that you can draw making using a potato hmm you can make flowers yes you can make a big tree you can make birds sit on the tree you can make clouds yeah you can make a sun and you can make clouds around it using a potato there are so many things that you can make using a potato so don't let the these halves of your potato go waste okay just wipe them clean with a cloth put some other color take another sheet and try to make a new painting out of it okay try making a big tree okay make some birds sit on it some cute little birds okay just make one impression with a nice color and make a beak and legs to make a small cute bird sitting on the tree okay or you can also make some cloudy a rainy day picture with some clouds using the potato okay so many things that you can do i would love to see all of your creativity what all what else you all can make using the potato yes all right that is so good to see that everybody is doing it so well okay great great so i hope everybody could finish the painting with me if not you can take your time finish your painting and then post it on yellow classes uh, portal okay you can post it on our facebook or instagram page and we would love to see what you have made in the class okay so do share your pictures would love to see and thank you everybody for joining it was great having everybody and we had a great time painting this making this painting right okay so see you again next time we will make something new and exciting okay all right thank you so much bye bye see you again